Cesar Chavez was born in Yuma, Arizona on his family's ranch. They worked hard, but life was good and everyone was happy. When Cesar was 10 years old, he and his family were forced to migrate because of a drought. They were always moving from field to field, picking the fruits and vegetables. Caesar was teased in school for speaking Spanish. It was not easy. Being Mexican-American, he had to quit school in eighth grade to help his family pay for food. Life was hard. Why are you all working so slow? You're lazy. If this girl doesn't get finished, I'll get me better and faster workers. This work is breaking my back. We make so little money, but we must finish this field. My hands and eyes burn, but what else can we do? We are treated so badly. Who is the person that called this meeting? I don't know, but his ideas are crazy. They're crazy, but he's right. We need to fight for our rights. I called the meeting tonight. I know some of you are afraid and don't believe this will work, but if enough of us join together, we can make a difference. He said, well, we're here to fight for equal rights, but we shall fight peacefully. Marching to the capital to demand better treatment and pay. Si se puede! How long will you march for? Until we reach the capital and are treated fair by the farm owners. Even if we are tired, we will still continue this fight. When we heard that you all were walking, we knew that even if we don't have much, we needed to be a part of your movements. I know that we have a long way to go, but with people like you to help us, I know we can succeed. Thank you for meeting with me. You must call off the strike. We are losing all our grapes. Then you must recognize our union. Pay us better and make our working conditions better. Fine. We will sign an agreement. We win. Cesar Chavez accomplished much in his lifetime. His dream became an inspiration and improved the lives of many farm workers. He and the Lauders worked to establish the union to represent and protect farm laborers from modern slavery. They used multiple forms of nonviolent action to accomplish their goals. Even though Cesar Chavez may be gone, we continue and celebrate his legacy today. Si se puede!